Hello and welcome to day 28 of the Musical Diaries, tracking my journey to become a grade 7 classical guitarist, a competent improviser and a composer. Today I'm going to be talking about something that to me is a real crime, and that is the fact that most musicians don't create their own music. Once I've spoken about that, I'm actually going to show you one of my original compositions, and then I'm going to be doing some practicing of one of the pieces I've been working on. So why aren't musicians like you and me making and creating their own music? It seems that most of us, and I know this isn't everyone, but most musicians spend most of their time imitating and interpreting other people's music rather than creating their own art, expressing themselves through original music and creating songs, composing. But why? If you look at almost every other art, painting, filmmaking, sculpting, writing, literature, people in those fields create original pieces almost all of the time. Of course, there are exceptions to that. Some imitate and interpret other pieces. But I would say the majority of the artists in those fields are expressing themselves through original works. But people that play guitar, people that play piano, don't do that. Why? That's just crazy, right? And they absolutely can. All you need to do is pick up the guitar like you would a piece of paper and a pen and just start. It's not going to be as good as someone who's really, really skilled, but you can begin that journey of expressing yourself. You've just got to write down a couple of notes or play a few notes. And if you find something that sounds good, then you've started writing your own music. But so few people do that. But we all have it in here, in here, in us to create great music. We just need to learn to properly utilize the tools we have to express that music and push it out into the world. And a good analogy for this is knitting a jumper like this one. I can have a vision in my head of exactly how I want a particular jumper to look. And I can decide that I want to make that jumper. And if someone gives me the knitting needles and the wool to knit this jumper, well, at first, I wouldn't be able to because I have no idea how to knit. Although I've got the vision in my head, I know that the finished product exists in here. I know what I want it to be, but I can't get to it because I don't have the skills yet. Creating beautiful music is exactly the same. We can all hum a beautiful tune that's beautiful to us. We can tap rhythms that are unique to us. We can write lyrics to experiences that are unique to us. We can put these things together to make music if we just take the time to learn how to utilize the tools we already have to actually do it. But most of us simply don't, or don't do it very much. And I think that's a shame. Compared to all the other types of art, why are so few musicians creating their own original stuff? And I completely include myself in that. Why do I not compose more? Why do I not improvise more? I do do those things, but I spend far more time interpreting other people's music. And is there a really obvious reason as to why we all do that? Or maybe I've got this totally wrong and no one is doing this except me. But all the musicians that I know, I don't know a single musician that, that composes and writes his own stuff, apart from my uncle. He does, but almost everyone else, they don't. Not really interested in it. And that's a shame, because we all have our own unique perspectives. We all have our unique ways that we see the world and our own unique, well, everything, every single, everything about every person is unique. And that uniqueness should be extra expressed through unique music, from each musician. It might seem intimidating to create your own music, but I think people overthink it. You think you need to learn scales and you need to learn chord progressions and stuff like that. And yeah, of course, that will help you to create music in a more structured, maybe typical way. But 
when you're first when you're given a pen and paper as a child you don't feel like you need to learn how to understand shadows and depth and all these things before you draw you just crack on and they're basic drawings but they're your drawings and you treasure those drawings a lot of people do why can't we do the same thing with music just download muse score start putting notes on the stave or pick two chords start putting lyrics to it and start creating music what's stopping you from doing that what's stopping any of us from doing that ah <sighs> So with all this talk of creating original music on this channel, I've never actually shown one of my own compositions before. And that's going to change from today. And I have no formal music education or anything like that. I don't really understand how to form music in like the proper way. I just put notes on the stave and experiment with what I'm doing until I get something that I think sounds nice to me. And that's all this piece is. It's pretty simple, but I like it. And uh, yeah, a couple of moments later. <laughs> Many more minutes later. that's as far as I've got so now on to some improv <laughs> Thank you. 
So I admit that I had some questionable moments, but I also think that I had some quite beautiful moments, for me anyway. Probably more questionable than beautiful, but it's a journey. And that was one of the steps. Even though when I improvise, it normally sounds pretty bad. Mostly. As I, as I say, there are moments where I like what I'm doing, but most of the time it doesn't sound good. And in spite of that, 100% of the time, it feels good. So if you don't improvise because you don't think you can, just do it. You'll probably enjoy it. I know I do. See you tomorrow. Oh, I need to stop saying that. It's not tomorrow. See you next time. Probably in a day or two.